started, and there was an autograph session, Parker, and somebody <laughs> left their hero cards on the car. <laughs> you know, you get so flustered trying to get in the car, you just forget that you had hero cards up there. But hey, look at this racetrack. It's a half mile oval, 14 degree banking in the turns, and as I mentioned, is very fast. Taylor Deegan with over a 98 mile per hour lap to get the pole in qualifying, but it's also multi groove and that's why I love this place. It will be fun to see 175 laps here. Heather, who do we watch? Starting from the fourth position tonight is veteran driver David Mayhew. This is his third start this season with his last race being at Sonoma where he finished 11th. Now he has four starts here at Kern County Raceway Park with a best finish of second coming in 2015. When I spoke to his team owner, Steve McGowan, earlier today, he told me that he does need to dust off a little bit of rust, but he should be ready physically because he is racing in a triathlon next weekend. Now David told me he comes out here to race for fun in the K&N West Series, and he's just hoping to get a good finish tonight in front of his home crowd. You have to dust off that front grill, too. <laughs> Get one of those hero cards off there. <laughs> but you know, David Mayhew is always a threat. Whenever we do any of these k and West races, he is so successful this year. He's been around for so long. I always think about him as being the guy to watch as going for the win. There you see Mayhew on the outside of row two. Deegan on the pole again. Cody Vanderwall on the outside of row four. Matt Levine rounding out the top ten in the ten car. Here you see the rest of the field here. 18 cars in the field tonight, and that's one of the reasons why uh, to start the race gives Derek Thorne the championship. You saw some scenarios where if he had to finish 21st or better, well, there's only 18 cars here, so once he starts, he'll automatically at least get last place points, but he's hoping for more. The final race of the West Series season in 2018, here they come to the green at Bakersfield. start for Haley Deegan there. Wow, she blasted away from the field there on the bottom lane. Has the race in control. Perfect launch for Deegan in the white 19. Her teammate, Derek Krause, in that blue and gold 16, the winner of the last two events in the Canaan Pro Series West here at Kern County. Right behind her. And he's right on her. He's really using the bottom there, trying to put some air on that left front of the fender. You see, she's got a little bit of a higher lane. He's white on that white line. Gets a lot of speed and momentum on the exit compared to her. Taking a peek down low already. How much is aero important here? You talk about getting a little air on that left front. Well, it's just because this place is fast. You know, it's for a short track. It's fairly high banked and it's fairly fast. So aero does matter. You see, whoa, these two, Partridge and Rouse, really going head to head here. And it's funny because Haley and Derek have kind of separated themselves from this battle back here. They've really blitzed away from the field. Yeah, it shows you what two wide racing will do to slow you down. Right now, Cole Rouse in that black 99 trying to get by. Oh! Ryan Partridge near contact as Krause tries to take the lead from Deegan. And here I was thinking he was probably just going to take it easy and eventually <laughs> see how his car turns out in the long run. Now he's just going to go up there and almost give the fender a little bit to Haley. Well, you remember how impatient he was earlier this year? Um, <clears throat> he moved a uh, Cup Series champion out of the way to yes, get to the front. I do remember that. So Derek Krause definitely on a roll. And in this series, Parker, these days, how much does a good setup like the one that has been helping Krause carry over to the next race and the next race? Well, because they race at so many tracks are so similar, you know, that's the thing. If you find a good base level setup in this series, you can really sort of fine tune it from week to week, just depending on the banking angle and that sort of thing, and maybe the tire wear situation. So it's not like what you have in the higher series or the national series where you're going from a short track to a speedway to a short speedway to a road course. You know, these... These drivers have a lot of very similar short tracks, and therefore, that, when that setup works, it can work throughout the season. Rouse settles it for now. He'll take third. And by the way, the fans getting a big treat this weekend. Back in the day, back to Mesa Marin Raceway, there was this weekend called the October Classic at Mesa Marin where they would run the Southwest Tour Series cars and the West Series cars. It was a huge weekend. They didn't officially brand it that way, but it's been gone for a few years. Since the closing of Mesa Marin, they brought it back this weekend. So there's a Southwest Tour race here tomorrow. And tonight, the big show, the K&N Pro Series West. Let's head down to Heather with more on Derek Krause. The last few laps, Derek's father has been coaching him on just how to make that pass on the number 19. And he was finally able to get it done. His father told him, nice, now let's go and hit your rhythm, hit your marks, and pull away from her. Now, when I spoke to Derek Krause earlier about coming to Kern County Raceway, he says he has the same feeling as the last time he was here. Every time he comes here, he said it's good, it feels good to be back, and he was hoping to get another win here tonight. But even after this race is over, no matter what happens, he will be making his debut in Phoenix in the Camping World Truck Series race for Bill McAnally Racing. So another cool opportunity for him to race this season before the year is over.
that's what it's all about, right? Moving on up. When you've shown you're successful at one level, then it's time to take it to the next level. And that's what he's doing, and he's earned that opportunity. And it's cool for Bill McAnally to actually, you know, venture into the Absolutely. truck series. They've been so successful as a race team at this level. And it's 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 not only the driver taking the next step, but it's the race team as well. And I think that's a really cool thing to see. Heather, thanks for that. News on Derek Krause, and I bet that's worth a tenth here tonight, knowing what he's got coming up. <laughs> definitely an old confidence boost knowing you got that chance coming up ahead of you. This is a good battle here. David Mayhew taking a look at the nine of Ryan Partridge. And guess what hasn't happened from Heather's report? Uh, the 16 is not pulled away from the 19 as his crew chief would like. Haley is right there. Not even a little bit. Haley has really kept the pressure on him. And you see her adjusting her line on each end of the racetrack. She's searching for ways to make that pass. We'll see if she can get it done later. She's tracking down. Can she get around Derek Krause?